So, welcome, bad boys. Welcome to one more Monday's live with bad boys. With me here, I have my really good friend Luca, who is my senior instructor as well, helping us. So, I especially every Monday I'm having a special guest. I'm going to bring you more and more people from my team, from my social circle, from the people who work with me. So I'm preparing lots of crazy new stuff in upcoming weeks. Like Pia, the fashion girl, is going to be here. Then my fitness trainer, who is taking care of my body and my nutrition, he's going to teach you how to get better directions. So every Monday, you're going to have a special guest. You're going to get me. You're going to get like my friends, my people who work with me, people who are behind my success, you know, people who you don't usually see. So this Monday, basically today, I invited Luca to help me, to help me teach you guys about one of my favorite topics, about seducing nines and tens, like the hottest girls on the planet. Why Luca? because recently he has been upgraded his game from regular girls, regular beautiful girls to the best looking girls. So he is now dating really beautiful girl, beautiful, basically, really amazing girls. So uh, I'm really happy that he moved basically up to the scale and he can tell you a lot about problems <laughs> and challenges they are kind of waiting you on that level everybody thinks it's easy you know it's kind of I mean being with those girls is very rewarding and it's amazing to be seen with the hottest girls on the planet like you go to a restaurant people treat you differently you go you walk on a street they're stopping traffic you know so it's it's a different it's a different feeling being around those so if you really like those girls you know i think this session is going to be really good for you because we're going to teach you a little bit about a little bit about how to get them and how to date them. So in first 10, 15 minutes, me and Luca, we're going to go hardcore on the content and then we're going to open the chat for your questions. Actually, you can start filling questions, but we're going to answer. So last part of the game of this session is going to be Q&A. So first I want to talk about my experience with nines and tens. Since I had a model agency in Zagreb here in Croatia with lots of beautiful girls, and I was running two years basically model agency, I can tell you a lot about nines and tens because you know that was my bread and butter for you know for years, and they're part of my life. I was part of their lives every day. I, I worked with them, I slept with them, I dated them. It's a different ball game, okay? Dating and basically picking up average girls, beautiful girls, and picking up this 10%, the most beautiful girls on the planet. It's 1%. Different. Yeah, 1%. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a different game. It, and I, I'm sure you experienced now, and you can tell, you can confirm that it's, isn't it different? It, it, it's a different way to get them and to keep them. Well, uh, at the beginning, 
I thought uh, it will be very, very easy. I started uh, dating uh, hot, hot girls like a few years ago. Uh, Bad way helped me a lot at the beginning. I thought uh, I'll completely fall in love with her. She will be the only one. Uh, yeah. I will, I will, all my life will be around her. She will be my son. And luckily, I had Bad Boy who told, who told me, like, when you find her, it is very important to have, she, she has to be only one part of, uh, of your life. So yeah. you have to, you must have uh, hobbies, you must have like cool lifestyle. So you can, you can be with her and because if she if she uh, find out that uh, she's uh, yeah the only one she's the only one then you're just yeah but they, what happened so look I found this amazing girl and start kind of falling in love like I'm gonna cancel all my fuck bodies I will just be real. I'm like a bro no problem if you like her if you wanna keep this really beautiful like I'm sure like a nine a really beautiful girl if you wanna keep her you have to keep fucking two or three other girls that is the only way you can keep a nine or a ten in your life you have to be fucking other girls around as well okay why because you can be totally clear of emotion because there's lots of dramas they can really easily get you to fall in love but i wanted to say basically how different it is how different it is um to i would say if game for average girls is like driving a car you're learning how to drive a car okay game for nines and tens is like driving flying an airplane <laughs> So this is different. It's a difference between flying a car, but driving a car and flying, piloting an airplane. This is the difference in the game. So it's, you cannot upgrade. You have to learn from the scratch. It's different strategies, different mindset, different psychology. And you know why? Do it to the beauty. It's like their whole life is shaped around how beautiful she is. So. Yes, yeah, some girls that they can be stupid, some girls that develop actually good personality, but there are lots of things. And one thing I want to teach you basically infield, and actually you can actually see me picking up nines and tens on infield module of the bad boy school. You're going to see on day game and some club game approaches. It's a different game. It's a different fucking game. So you can see live demos from me. Uh, one thing that I'm always doing with, with real beautiful girls, and as a first tip I'm going to tell to you. You cannot fall in love. You cannot be in intimidated by her beauty. The moment she notices that you are being affected by her beauty, that you appreciate and kind of that you kind of wow, you're so beautiful. It's game over. And she, as, yeah. And uh, as Bedford told, uh, it is very important that she is uh, just one part of your lifestyle. So you you must have like some sport. Uh, you, you you must have uh, some things that make you happy. Otherwise, if you fall in love, you're just not interested to her anymore. It's not important to fuck like, I don't know, many, many girls, but it is very, very important uh, that uh, that you, uh, when she makes some drama, that you're okay with it. That uh, you don't, uh, like, you don't, she doesn't yeah. drive you crazy. Yeah. It's well, very important. Okay, one thing, uh, speaking of the beauty, like, let me finish this. Um, so I mean I like that and I think that's very really, really important. Actually, the whole basically picking up nice and tense, there is no shortcut. It's whole life. Your whole life is attracting them and keeping them. But the beauty part, lots of guys they fall in love. One thing was when you are there in a club and your brain goes, Wow, she's so beautiful, like you know, I like it. you cannot allow that process to be happening in your mind. You can't go, oh she's so beautiful. When you catch yourself falling into her beauty, being affected by her beauty. Find some minus. What you have to do exactly what Lucas said. Find focus on mistakes, focus on flaws. Every girl has something imperfections. Like some imperfection, like you know, maybe one tip is bigger than another one, then I don't maybe some part of the face is not that beautiful. You focus on that. You focus on what's wrong. When your brain, it's automatic brain process where it's going like, wow, she's so fucking beautiful, she's so amazing. Wow, you know what? Like, and you're like, you're, you're sinking like a butter, like it's her beauty. That's her game. That's fucking nice and tense game. That's how they get you. And then they get fucking free stuff because, you know, they end up guys taking them to Arab, to, I don't know, to Israel, to this and that, like, you know, all over the planet, buying stuff for them. That's their game. Make a guy fall in love, basically, they fall in love and then fucking squeeze like a milk, squeeze, 
squeeze the fucking milk out on him like a milk him like all yeah. the way to fucking get like you know bent for it you know so what you have to do is not fall in love and this is the first step of picking up nines and tens do not be affected by her beauty you can achieve that by being with lots of beautiful girls dating like what i do beauty is normal for me it's for me it's normal to be around beautiful girls why i had a model agency i have like, all my girlfriends are beautiful so it's normal to be surrounded with beauty beauty is normal to me okay so you have to start exposing yourself to beautiful girls and that's normal like you know they're all human beings she's nothing special and focus on imperfect whenever you notice like this process focus on the minuses focus on what she's hiding like maybe you have a big ass maybe something focus on her insecurities at least in your brain and i would say these are it's a game it's a two-layer game first part you have to win is against yourself and that will happen to you you start falling you start falling in love so first you have to control yourself yeah you have to be totally stoned like you have, be, you have to be ice cream like she's normal if you can if you can so basically that's the first war first battle you have to win is the battle over yourself she is not a 10. maybe she's into your mind to your eyes for me maybe she's a seven or six you know whatever like an average girl what is also very important is that in your head you you know that she's she's re replaceable so if she's making drama if she's doing some shits you just tell her like listen baby i like you very much you're very hot i would like to be with you but here are my rules uh here are my boundaries so if you don't uh, accept them you can you can doors are there you can go home this is very very important that you feel inside of you that you can find next one pretty easy also yeah yeah so uh one thing that basically i want to say as well is um that's why not it's like that's what i'm teaching and basically one day i'm gonna do actually i have to sit down fucking lazy and do a nines and tens whole module that you all the openers and everything how to pick up nines and tens i think this dedicates more than live session interview kind of like, this dedicates like a proper like you know like a five ten hours of me just explaining one thing that's crucial is this kind of two circles i mean unfortunately i cannot show you here because i'm on the whiteboard um so i just realized on the summer camp you know i put the whiteboard into the bus i was going back to zagreb and it was like you know about a month and a half ago <laughs> and I, it's still yeah. in the bus and i forgot to pick it up so, you will, you will lose yeah, it. i mean it was so fucking crazy that you know yeah so bruno the whiteboard that we had it's gone it's probably still in the bus somewhere we'll you like, you know, we'll buy a new one yes yeah. so yeah i keep fucking losing stuff all over the planet because they're fucking we're doing so many things so two um two circles basically this is how it looks like every hot girl every nine and ten has this little girl inside her little like a 12 13 year old girl inside herself that she's protecting why it's it's really interesting because like you know they, they develop basically like you know it's they as if they stop growing when they're like a 12 13 i would say like 15. yeah 15. when the when yeah. they start to grow yeah, when, puberty, there's, puberty, uh, yeah, when like, the guys are going out uh, when she's in high school i agree, I agree. and also when uh, i'm like 33 and uh, when you're like kissing those girls when you're like having when you're with them you always feel that deep i mean she's kissing like she's like 14 she's like doing everything like you're dating like a small kid yeah she has some uh, some walls around her but uh, when you when your game is pretty and good and when you know her pretty good then you find out that uh, she's small are, kid. so all those nice and things are very insecure deep inside and i can tell you that from the model agency i had from the girls i dated models miss croatia what happens she's 15 16 and her teeth start growing she gets very sexual because in a puberty and everybody around starts basically they want to bang her they want to fuck her they want to like you know they want to do so in that moment she starts creating shields of walls around herself okay she's just pretending like, like in know, the middle age 
you have like some castle. Yeah, there is, exactly. There's, there's exactly. water, there is uh, yeah, there dogs, are dogs, dogs, yeah. There, yeah. There, there there archers, like big walls, uh, alligators yeah. in the river. The father is as a king who is yeah. protecting her. And so she started building those walls around. And the walls are getting bigger and bigger as she's growing. And why? Because she's protecting this little girl to be fucked. Okay? So but that's why it's totally different game than normal girls. Normal girls, you approach, you build some connection, you build some sexual escalation, you isolate, build some trust, call for you, take her home, and you fuck her. These ones, it's totally fucking different ball game. It's totally different part of the game. I mean, here we have some components that you don't have with the normal girls. So you, what you have to basically what part of the game is to penetrate to those walls and to enter a little girl inside and create connection with that little girl. Yeah. Basically, make sure the little girl is safe. I mean, you had those moments when, 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 yeah, when, when she starts basically crying on your shoulder and everything. Like, I mean, yeah, it, yeah. Was, it happened to you, like, you know, basically, when you crack. Like, basically, look, came to me here, actually, like, a couple of, you know, couple of weeks ago, whatever, like, you know, for devices. And I was like, bro, you have to do this, this, and this. Next, next day, because every every nine and ten is different. Uh, for all of them, if you, you must find a unique crack. I had like few nines and tens, but uh, bad boy he knows very very good like how to crack all of them. So listen yeah. to his advice. Yes, yeah, so he's the yes. <laughs> <laughs> let's let, let's continue with the wisdom of nines and tens. Uh, really like you know, and I'm proud of Luca, and because like you know, I'm. You know, I met Luca years ago when he was like, you know, just kind of green, l l green, green, green. <laughs> very green, like you guys over there. I took him under my wing. Actually, he's very close by. So we had lots of coffees, lots of hangouts. We were going out together. And then I put him as my junior instructor, I trained him now, trained him to be a senior instructor. Now he's there. He's dating the most beautiful girls in the city. Like he has a fucking amazing lifestyle and still there's a more to grow. So everybody can do it. Like you know, every insecure guy out there can get fucking become confident, become more sure, become more like you know, kind of, and learn basically become like you know, kind of really good and it's learn just, how to. It's just I would I would say it's just a matter do you want it or not. It's not easy. Yeah. Uh, you have to fight. You will have like lot of struggles in your head. Uh, but luckily I had bad boy as a mentor who helped me in those uh, difficult times. And this is the only way that I was like persistent. I really wanted deep side of me. I want to have like hot, hot girl. And uh, I was persistent. I was like fighting many times. I was like during the night, I couldn't sleep. I was fighting in my head. This is not good. This is not right. But luckily I had him. So he helped yeah. me how to how to yeah. increase myself, how to work on my skills, uh, how to how to how to find a way to come to the little kid and... So, one thing... Oh, let's have some questions. There are some questions coming like here to my phone. So, how can I sexually escalate on 9s and 10s <laughs> on a day game? <laughs> <laughs> well, so, okay, let me tell you one thing. This is not part of the game. Any sexual escalation in a public, it's not going to happen. Okay, it's not possible. So in a public has to be everything like you know walls you have to respect her walls and everything it's it's totally I know it, it's not this is not kind of a game this kind of a game you can look for normal girls for nines and tens you, you you're not gonna be using sexual escalations and this kind of stuff it's a um, it's a different game yeah I mean even like when you're dating this she's still like you know very cold at the beginning at the, at the beginning what is very important you have to treat her treat her like a queen uh, you have to you have to help her. You have to listen to her. You have to listen like her problems yeah. and stuff. And then and later, breaking. later when you build trust, comfort, connection, then you can you can grow. Then you can do something. Then you, you can, can like go to the, for the next step. Yeah, and you, you, then you start cracking the whole reality yeah. and everything. But at the beginning, it's very important that it's, it's she has big walls around herself. It's very important to be nice to pretend that you you can like it's treat like, her nice. Uh, it is completely different game than with like six, seven. Yeah, like for, for example, the beach shield that you guys experience. Fucking leave me alone. I don't want to talk with you. This is not a beach shield. This is the it's fake pilot. This, this is the fake persona that she has built. Those walls, as Luca is telling. The fake personality she has built it around herself. 
to protect little girl inside because that little girl didn't grow didn't like you know I have an amazing story like uh, really and I have experienced that so I'm gonna tell you this story because this story is part of nines and tens game okay so a friend of mine uh, Mario has two daughters had not you know I mean still had not, you know two beautiful I, I told you yeah. a story like you know amazing story what is like amazing <laughs> yeah two so basically okay imagine this two girls they're like eight years old eight nine years old okay both of them living in the same house one is eight one is nine years old yes. so same they're going to the same schools same education same toys they're playing same food they're eating same clothes but one is the average girl like not fat like ours like maybe like i don't know let's say she's gonna become a six or seven like no model another one she's angel she's like perfection or synchrony between fit like she i'll say she's gonna be a nine or a ten like you know this yeah. type of girl okay yeah. so i was there basically because i was I, i'm a kind of family friend i was coming back like you know to uh, basically i i i i'm invited to the house for lunch for dinner so basically i see their growth and I was talking with a Mario, a friend of mine, and it's amazing they develop. So, for example, when uh, this average-looking girl, like you know, kind of less freaky one, when she wanted something from the dad, you know, she would come like, "Hey, daddy, how was your, you know, how was your job? You know, how, how was your job?" Yeah, like, you know, I mean, those girls. Oh, you are tired. Let me give you a massage. Yeah, massage you know, kind of. So she, she was like, you know, you know what, daddy, I was reading this book today. It's an amazing book, you know, I really love, you know, I wrote a homework today, you know, do you want a coffee? Let me make you a coffee, daddy, like, you know, so she was pleasing daddy, she was doing everything for him, and then daddy, can you buy me a new, um, yeah. so, a, a new house? So, there was recipro uh, reciprocity, so she gave him something, yeah, and then uh, after it, daddy gave her something, yeah. with nice and tense. With, uh, uh, with, with other girl, you know, you know what with other girl? Other she girl, just blink, yeah. blink, and like 10 guys are yeah, coming. She, she came and to you the, have to crack it. She came to the father, <laughs> daddy, I want this. And because she's, yeah. a, she's a daddy's angel, she bought it, okay? So she realized, it's amazing, she realized that with the beauty, with her kind of being a beautiful and things, she can get things for free. And what is what is also very important, uh, when, when the girls are like 14, 18, like 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then they start uh, to do the same thing with the with the guys. Yeah. So the guys, the guys just come and like, can you give me your like I don't know. So same thing, you know, happened. Same thing it happened in the school. So she went to the school. Guy, you know, she was just beautiful. Guys were writing her homeworks, doing stuff for free, taking her off everything for free. Yeah. So she saw, okay, the more beautiful I am, the more things I get for free. Yeah. That's her pattern. While other girl, you know, happened with other girl. She, she realized the more stuff I know, the more I invest, I can talk about the more things I get. So she was reading books, she was watching a TV, a movies, you know, she was developing a personality. While well, other one was just beautiful. Now they're both 16, 17. One is just beautiful and dumb. And other one has amazing personality. Yeah. She has to, she was growing. Yeah, but what happened with this with beautiful one? She developed because now she has to live in this adult adult world. She developed a fake persona that she, that's smart because I mean she's inside, like yeah. you know, she stopped developing, she's like a 13. She just come to the professor in the in the high school or in yeah. university, blink blink. Okay, <laughs> what do you want? Yeah. <laughs> or like so guys. and that's and then I think you know, realizing that this look, same background, same childhood same house same parents two girls totally two different personalities yeah. one is smart interesting you can talk with her you know you can you know kind of really open beautiful person inside beautiful you know personality other one she's just beautiful and it started when they're like five years old this separation so the world is treating them differently they see okay i'm beautiful the more i'm beautiful the more things i get for free and that's how it starts growing so yes, you know, of course, the game to get this one and to get other one is gonna be different. Yeah. Of course, it's gonna be different, you know, because you know, kind of. I mean, you said it in in your example with your girl. Her reality, she is distorted, and that happens because of beauty. See, one thing that you have to understand: beauty for them is a curse. It's like they hate to be beautiful. Like they're gonna downdress to yeah. not be beautiful. 
beautiful girls sometimes hate this attention they hate like being approached non-stop and they're gonna not put the makeup they're gonna go down dress. they want to be like everybody else for example you go you go out with her and people are just they're staring they, and you can feel it they want to eat her they yeah. want to like just like touch her they just want to like that she laugh yeah. and uh, what is also big problem for those girls when they when they are older when they're not looking so good like it starts when they are like uh, 35 40 so they're downgrading with, with their beauty and uh, then like a lot of lot of problems uh, also happened yeah so um, there's a whole thing basically when you're dating now let's move to the dating uh, and, you know, I just kind of just fucking flying through when you are looking to the dating uh, nines and tens there's one thing is uh, basically fixing her reality and I think you know we, we talked today morning a lot about that like you know on the phone like you know when I woke up you have to get her out from because they build the world that it's fucking she's a she's a sun every time you're spinning around her they don't know how to give things they don't know how to like you know how to how to love somebody how to kind of be equal like you know, everything is non-stop okay someone needs to make me happy and then like you know so it's lots of investment to crack once you are in don't think basically the moment you start you start fucking her it's all sorted the real problems with tense start Started them <laughs> start the moment when you start fucking her then the true 10 game starts because what is the problem the problem is like okay you had you have sex with her everything is fine and the uh, after like i don't know like few months you just figure out that you're giving so much and is she worth giving so much yeah and then the guys they just like okay i don't need you anymore please go and uh, they don't know what is going on this is the big big problem with them so you have to treat them at the beginning like okay i give you this you give me this and we will be equal and this is the only way how we can like grow together yeah so it's lots of education i know it's like you know with those girls because they never been educated but everybody's you know it's like all the guys that are giving them here let's go there it's like i want to go to the spa let's go to the spa so and now you come and she wants to continue this lifestyle yeah. they okay. don't have spine yeah so you have to say no this is not gonna happen this is not normal you're gonna be high like a, be like a normal fucking girl so it's lots of fucking cracking the mentality so guys don't think the moment you start you know if you kiss close the fucker it's game over no oh the real problems so there are, two, there, are two, there are two games. One is game is getting her. And one is like and one being with her and uh, is like being dating her. her and and, so on and so on. both of them are equally hard. So this is like, I mean, I, I don't think that like 45 minutes is enough to explain. I can just kind of open the topic basically how to. So you guys gonna have opportunity. I promise like in the next couple of months, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna walk, walk right whole step-by-step -step method how to fuck nines and tens and keep it in a relationship with help with Luca and experience but him is his input I need like at least two months of work about two weeks of the work on this so maybe when I get fucking find some two weeks of I'm gonna sit down and create a module of the bad boy course for all of you guys who are my students who want to learn this you're gonna have this knowledge available with all the openers and all tools and techniques how to crack personality and how to date them so let's move on to some questions okay there are some really interesting questions. Um, so, bad boy, tell me about the dating places. I like to take her on a dinner and movies. And I know you may think it's boring. You told me to be spontaneous and unpredictable. So what about parks or walking around the places? Look at uh from my point of view it, uh, it is very important that you do something unique that uh, that you take her to like if she's like higher class than girl then you have to find like some cool movie uh some uh, good uh, exhibition uh some something uh, unique something that will you can talk about uh, something uh, that uh, she never experienced if you if you bring her to the coffee if you bring her to the like uh, dinner is just something like one random guy one one more so this yeah. this wouldn't attract her at all so what, later you can do it and what, also what is the problem with the with the, those like hot girls they know very good if if they go uh, to the dinner or lunch uh, with you 
that uh, they have to give you something back. Some of them yes, some of them no. And the problem is that they will uh, they will cut it at the beginning. So you have to find something unique what she what she want. You have to read her. This is this yeah. is something. I would say I would don't spend much money. I prefer free dates, more interesting dates. So like yeah, zoo like outdoor like you know I I okay I what I usually do is like you know play time. Okay, I have like a playtime budget, and that's I think uh, for you guys who are kind of you know who studied my dating and relationship material, and in a better school you know, I separate the date into three parts. First part is the meeting part, let's say coffee. Then like where I'm building like you know mental connection with her. Then the second part is the playtime, something physical. Yep. Like ice skating, like go kart. I love go karts. You know, maybe yeah. on the fair, like you know, something like you know, like you know, on um, on split, I rented like you know, those jet skis. Put on yeah, a yeah, fucking yeah. jet ski, go jump on fucking waves. You know, go. Yeah. So do something crazy, like you know. So it's kind of my playtime. Go, I don't know. Go to the salsa place, then salsa with her, like you know. So you do like a, you do some um, activity with her. So it's not only sitting and talking, okay. And then last part, maybe some lounge some sit down where I'm going for kiss and something. So I'll let that's going to be for the sex. So it's always like that, you know, after the sex happens in a relationship, I cut a whole dinner dates, you know, it's more like, you know, come to my place, let's cook together, let's have fun. But yes, yeah, so those first like a two, three dates, it's a uh, fun. You want to build connection with her brain and connection with her body. So do something, some unique, just some be unique. crazy. Be yeah. yourself, be unique, and uh, have fun. Do something like have fun. Everybody's taking girls. Feels good. Everybody's taking girls to the movies yeah. and lunch, and dates. dinner, and exactly. And they all do it. They all fucking do it. So you want to do something different? It is They're, like it is like someone ask you, do, do you want to go to to work? I mean, yeah. Just so it's it's so so. I have a full list actually somewhere on my blog or in a bad boy school. Check it out. There's a full list of like 25 dates, places where you can take girls to the dates, like you know, like with examples, like you know, go karts, parks, you know, kind of zoos with the times. Where, oh, speaking of which, this week we are releasing an uh, in field module of the Bad Boy School. Remember all those crazy approaches we were recording during a couple of last years? You and me, like you know, kind of you know, winging and everything, like you know. We did so many things. Yeah, we... so <laughs> finally they're coming out. So basically, yeah, finally all the guys, my guys edited everything. So this week we are releasing in field footage. You want to see me picking up nines and tens in clubs, bars, streets, malls? Now your opportunity. It's three hours of the craziest fucking infields, Instafox. Oh, yeah, like you're going to see that Instafox, me fucking a girl in a club, seven minutes. From open air to the sex, everything recorded with the hidden cameras, day game stuff. So lots of fucking crazy footage is coming up, and I can't fucking wait to show it to the world. For you guys who are already in my school, you probably know it. You saw it in some of the modules, some of them. But there is a more. I did a live commentary to all of them, so that now I'm explaining exactly. See, now I did this because of this. Now I'm gonna move her there because of that. She's uncomfortable. So there's a fucking. I'm picking up girls, you can you can hear it, you can see it, and I'm like doing live fucking commentary like on NBA, like okay, now I'm gonna move her there because of this, so really fucking amazing. So more questions. More questions. Let's check my phone. What it says, how about a normal girl who behaves like a nine and a ten? How can we recognize the real nines and tens? How we can to be honest. Nine and ten. When you see her, she looks fucking hot. <laughs> yeah. When you see like other girls, they are not so hot. This is very easy. Uh, simple explained. Some of the girls they are like tell them six, seven, and they behave like nine and ten. But they're not. I yeah. mean, they're, 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 just they're, cut her, and uh, there are plenty of fish on the sea. Yeah. So okay, there, there, there's an ego. Those is basically average girls who think they are like a nine and ten. So that's kind of fucking ego flying in row. Okay, that's not a true mm -hmm. nine. True nine behaves like a nine. She's gonna be like, you know, you're gonna notice like she's the hottest girl in you know in a surrounding whatever in a bar. She's like, wow. Every little detail about her is a perfect. Her shoes, her fucking nails, everything is perfect, tip top. And she's fucking bending the reality around herself. 
there's a true nine. But basically, when everybody's staring at her and she's still like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a true, like, you know, true. That's how you're going to recognize them. For example, she comes to the coffee and everyone is like, a pain and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I know girls dance, uh, so Raphael, but they have boyfriends. How to get them anyway? Is it harder to seduce a 10 with a boyfriend than, let's say, a 7? <laughs> it's easier to seduce <laughs> a 7 than a 10 with a boyfriend. Definitely. Yeah. So look, the boyfriends, the whole thing, it's not that hard. You can get rid of a boyfriend. There's a boyfriend destroyer techniques. It's on my blog. You can check it. How to destroy boyfriends. I wrote about that actually, a big article about that before the summer, summer, like, you know. So check it out. There's exactly step-by-step -step technique how to destroy boyfriends, how to plant the seed and crack the boyfriend so she breaks up and you can see Every relationship, something is missing. There's no perfect relationship. Because as you, as you can see, like you get the girl, you get one package. So she has some pluses and minuses. And uh, we guys, the same, are like the girl gets one package. And she, with, with some things, she is happy. With some things, she is not happy. And you have to find with what she is not happy what bothers her, what is the stone in the shoe, and you just slowly give her that, and this is the only way to crack the... Yeah, so speaking, there's one more question about Insta dates for normal girls. Normal. <laughs> <laughs> what is the formula for the Insta date? So formula for the Insta date is very simple. You talk with a girl, let's say, let's say you stop her on the street, you talk with her, blah, 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 and you see she's at time, she's not in a hurry, you say, you know what? Let's go for a drink. Let's I really for, like yeah. you. I would let's, like let's, to, let's go for a coffee. Better. Take her by the hand and take it for a coffee. Like, you know, and that's it. Simple. Or, or for example, you're in a mall. Like I did, like you know, actually yesterday. I stopped a girl. I talk with her. Blah blah blah. I'm like, you know what? Uh, I need to buy something. Like I need to buy good perfume. Can you give me good perfume. Like, oh, I don't know. I'm like, you know what? Come help me. So I took it to the perfume shop. What, do you like this one or this one? She's like, oh, I like this one. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna buy it. Okay, you know what? I have to thank you for, for choosing the good perfume for me. Let me buy a coffee. I mean, let's buy a coffee. Yeah. So maybe I, I went for, so maybe it was street stop in a mall, move to, to the perfume shop, and then move to the coffee. That's how. So formula for leading, for instant days is leading. Lead, lead, lead. Always fucking lead. You are the man. You have to lead. That's the formula for, you know. Yeah. Let's hear some more questions. Pearl, do you have anything here that I didn't answer? Sexual escalation, we did. Any normal, any other questions you guys have? If not, I'm gonna be talking. Luca, tell me about, tell me about, let's talk about your apartment. You're renovating your apartment again. Yeah. So, I know you put lots of little things that I have here as well, like, you know, <laughs> to, you know, for the girls to pick up and seduce girls, like, you know, what's, share us, give us some secrets, what you installed in your apartment. What did I install? What did I install in my apartment? Well, actually, as I know with uh, this uh, girlfriend, I will do my best to be with her and, but we will see like what will <laughs> happen in the future. I will really do my best because she's completely my type. But uh, how how I renovated my apartment? Well, uh, I had one uh, uh, lady. She's called Pia. She's really famous. Oh, she's gonna be next month. She 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 taught me like uh, about colors, shapes, and uh, those kind of things. And uh, she told me like I'm summer type, so it means uh, that uh, everything should be in my colors. Uh, as my apartment is uh, like on the top then uh, whole apartment will be white uh, she also told me like uh, which shapes to use uh, where to put uh, bed where to put uh, sofa where to put uh, kitchen uh, how to organize kitchen, nice, how to you, have you, you, okay. a table tell them about the wine fridge you bought a nice, nice wine fridge yeah. luca is really good at wine he's, really special. I mean, he's always like whenever i'm buying a wine for my place i call him as he got it like once a month by fucking shit of we buy a shitload of the wine, so I have the for a whole month, like, you know. So tell them about the wine fridge and what kind of wines you have, because, I mean, I know you always are kind of, you know, when you bring them home, you open some wine and, you know. Yeah. 
for example, from my early age, uh, I was always into the wines and my parents, uh, they knew many things about wines. So what is important? Uh, important is like, what do, what do you eat? If you eat uh, meat, if you eat fish, if you eat like something light, if you eat uh, something like... Uh, but if you don't eat anything. But uh, how I organized uh, my uh, winery, I organized it in a way, so I have like a, a wine with a full body, wine uh, with not full body, wine uh, like uh, like Cabernet Sauvignon, I have like Merlot, I have like uh, all the sorts. I have some uh, also like uh, white uh, wines that are light and uh, I'm organizing... Uh, what do you usually drink like, you know, when Merlot comes over? Like, what do you have, you know, white or red, like, you know, what's better? Uh, it is difficult to say. Uh, I like to, to give them some light wine. I don't uh, I don't like to get them drunk uh, because I really like that she's into me, and I like that uh, she, feel, she feels she feels she feels comfortable. Yeah. Uh, it helps, but uh, I don't I don't like to get them drunk, and I'm always uh, buying some classy, better quality wines, so she feels uh, tomorrow like okay. Yeah, actually, so okay, doesn't hurt. In in uh, very soon we're gonna have um, Branimir, my nutrition guy. Who's gonna explain you actually why you drink red wine? Because I mean, there is a part of her and there's a part of you because you know red wine is gonna extend your blood vessels, you get more circulation, better, better erection, so it's better for fucking like the actually white wine. You know, so, but that's now uh, we're gonna talk about that probably next couple of weeks. I'm gonna have him here as well on live, and he's gonna teach you some amazing stuff, basically what you need to eat and drink. For the whole kind of bad boys diet that we are preparing and basically releasing so that you know, you know kind of for the erection for the better energy on a date because okay there's a there's a her part she needs to be kind of okay like a little bit kind of, okay having fun and drinking good wine at your place and everything but as well there's a your part yeah. because you don't want to get drunk you, you basically want your dick to go up because i have many cases where basically you drink too much and then your drink is like that your, your dick is like you know you cannot fuck her. one very important thing uh with wines and with the food is that if you drink something, uh, if you eat something heavy, then uh, you feel sleepy. Then uh, that why that that why uh, I'm meeting always like with the girls like some fish or something light. Uh, I'm drinking some light wine, so uh, I have energy later like to be with her, like to to do the things with her. We have a question from Tron of Slicer. What exercise? do you do in order to feel more confident so confidence comes from inner game you cannot be confident with girls you have to be confident in your life you know confident in you like you know, confidence comes from you so this is totally inner game thing uh, there are no exercises there are analyzing your beliefs living the life and being living in the moment in the present and slowly being more and more confident the little things for example how do you become confident in driving a car what exercises do you do you don't do exercise you go and you drive a car after you spend three thousand five thousand kilometers ten thousand you become confident so basically mileage okay doing that same thing with girls the more girls you pick up you know kind of you analyze them but you know their responses you become confident why i'm confident with girls is because I know exactly what the fuck they're going to say before they say it. And I know what I'm going to reply. I know exactly their fucking, I know their shit. I know their game better than they, they know. And that makes me confident. Because for me, it's like a little kid playing. I know what they want. I know what they need. So it's like, you know, come here and I'll leave it here. <laughs> so yeah. that's what makes me confident. So basically, knowledge makes me confident. Being in infield for years, and basically clear mindset on clear mindset on exactly what's happening in my brain what do i want and what she wants what i can give to her and what she can give to me this is where is she in my life that's making me confident like for example you go and buy a tv like me and luca we went to buy a tv for his apartment and i went there to the shopping to help him i'm like okay tell me what do you have from tv this size this model this is the budget why i'm confident or him because i know exactly what do i want how much cash do i have That's and what's the quality i want for that 
that's where my confidence is coming from. From knowing the shit, what the fuck I want. So, and from knowing what he can do to manipulate me. I know, he, I know the salesman game. So, that's where my confidence comes from. So, the, I mean, I have done on summer camp on my trainings, I made a lot of guys confident how by doing stuff, by sh giving them stuff, tools and techniques, manipulate to better, so they can control women, so they control themselves. There, because that's, that's seduction. Seduction is controlling your emotions and, their emotions and her emotions. Okay? And then leading those emotions in summer. Let's say I can make her happy now. First, I make her relaxed, then happy. And then yeah. from happy excited, and from excited to the horny, and then when she's horny, we go upstairs to the bedroom. I'm leading the emotions, I'm leading the seduction, I'm the leader, I'm the man. And that's making me confident, making because I know how to move from relaxed to happy, from happy to excited, or happy from excited to and for sexual. That, and for that, this is very important to have like theoretical knowledge. So how to do it, what is important, what is not important, and not only theoretical knowledge for example theoretical knowledge you will get in bed by school but what is important it is important to implement that knowledge so someone gives you some task do this 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 and this and what is important that after it you just go out and you try to do it the best to do it is to have mentor to have someone who achieved that goal so you can achieve that goal easier but some of you don't have like opportunity for it so uh, watch Bad Boy School and then implement all that knowledge. That tell them, tell them, there's one more question from, um, one more question from Ben. What are the best places to find nines and tens? The best places to, this is Benny for, I don't know which Ben. Not, okay. Uh, uh, so, hi Benny. Uh, the best places to find nines and tens yeah, are, are, uh, some uh, luxury shops, some uh, clubs, VIP places, some uh, some uh, you can you can find a, a lot of uh, nice and tense in like uh, makeup uh, places. You can find them in uh, like model agencies. Uh, I would say like if you go out, uh, you can find nice and tense, but it is pretty difficult uh, to get them. You can't get them, but your game should be very, very good. Uh, then from the social circle, you can get some of them. No, that's hard. Like, yeah. I would yeah. say nines and tens, find the best clubs. VIP in, VIP the, best, in, VIP the, best VIP clubs. in the best clubs. <laughs> that's one thing. Another thing really good is the best brands. The best brands in our shopping malls, like Armani, Armani Versace, Prada. Prada brands with lots of cash they're gonna hire those girls to work for them for sales to be for you know marketing yeah. and so you're gonna find them there yeah. so these are my favorite places to pick up nines and tens and guys i think 45 minutes be about 47 minutes uh one more time thanks for joining thanks for you know it was being here with the live stream i don't know computer is too far there i can see how many guys we have online i just see the questions so one more time thank you on this wednesday i'm flying to the us for the world global pickup conference so global dslr for all of you guys there's going to be live stream they are doing live streaming as well so if you want to find if you want to get the best noise from the best pickup seducers on the planet earth it's going to be 10 of us there talking make sure you tune in go and buy like a, you can buy i think tickets for the for the watching live global slr conference is going to be the only the best guys in the world presenting i'm going to be presenting the newest the latest things that i have discovered so it's going to be amazing and then i'm flying back and on monday hopefully going to see you again totally fucked up from a jet lag but <laughs> hopefully I'm jet lag to the i'm jet not going to be sleeping here you know, like, and you're going to be talking you know? so guys one more time it was a pleasure uh, stay good make sure that you stay tuned on a bad boy lifestyle blog there's one amazing stuff coming out when i'm gonna be flying my boys will be releasing the infield module all hidden approaches things from a bad boy school for my approaches so make sure you tune in 
watch some of those, get that module, it's fucking amazing module. And if nothing else, I'm gonna see you hopefully in a US on a conference. If not, follow the US, US guys, I'm gonna see you there. For all of you guys, next Monday, we are back here. New guest, new show, new topic. See ya. It's a pleasure to Bye. see you guys, guys. Bye.